Felix just woke up and he's immediately doing baby shark hand gestures. Good morning. Morning. You talk a little bit now. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Typical day here. I'm preparing their breakfast. I have like a rotation of four or five different things I make for them. This is a classic. Bacon egg, which I kind of botched today because I like cooked it too much. And I'm definitely going to hear about that. And then this is a protein, I think gluten-free protein pancake. But I just do the same thing or else one of them would complain that I get Felix a little bit less. For myself, I have a black coffee. Kind of what I've been doing lately. He's getting so big. He's almost two. Goes for the pancakes first. Theo's awake. I got a surprise for you. What? You want to see? Yeah. So this is the herb garden that we planted. What? Are any of them growing? Yeah. Which one? No, the, not that one. Yeah, it's starting to grow because it looks so, look at all, so it looks so fox. First plants are starting to grow right there. Here's another thing we planted. And they have these like planter pod things at Home Depot. That's kind of fun for the kids. Like you add water and then they expand. What did we plant? Popcorn and with watermelon. Popcorn and watermelon. I'm not sure that we're actually going to get food off of this. This is just more experimental fun for the kids. We Maybe we will. We'll see. Here's the beautiful wife. Ooh. Good wow. morning. Yeah, Happy Monday. We got a full day of eating. Thursday for them. Oh yeah. And now we got two other. Happy film Thursday, people. full day of eating. Theo's filming. <laughs> so this is the only time we can talk when the boys both have their milkies. They both have the same milk for the first time. We're trying to get Felix on lactose-free milk and off of like coconut milk, but um. We'll see how his digestion does. Yeah, so the only food allergy or anything, I guess Felix maybe, it seems, has a dairy allergy of some kind. It looks like he has baby eczema that worsens and gets better, you know, as we take dairy in away. So Theo was breastfed till he was like... 20. Six years old, 20 months. Felix was breastfed till he was like... Four Four, four months yeah. because Mega got sick and we couldn't keep it going. And I would say also Theo's diet was just better early on in life than Felix is. Absolutely. And I can already tell Felix likes sweet stuff a lot more. Like if we go to a play zone or something or to the zoo and they get Dippin' Dots, Theo will have like two spoonfuls and he'll be like done basically. Yeah. Felix will eat the entire thing, no problem. I think the biggest tell is when we go to birthday parties, Theo like just has one lick of the icing off the cupcake, but he'll have like two slices of pizza, easy. And then Felix will just go ham on the cupcake. It's very clear they're very different in their in their tastes, you know? Beard update, I'm loving it. There's a middle phase where it's like really itchy and kind of like new and it like starts touching my ears and I don't like it and stuff, but I'm past all that now and it's just kind of reaping the dividends of the beard and I like it a lot. And I'm gonna share with you guys, we don't, haven't been doing this very often, five of the healthiest foods you can eat that you don't have to cook. So these things you can add in and it's not that hard. I guess maybe, yeah. These these things are easy to add in just for a healthier diet overall. And diet update, so for a while, for the last like six months or so, I don't know how long, three months, I keep lose track of time. I was doing the Ray Pete inspired diet. I'm using the principle still. I'm basically just doing mostly whole foods diet. Uh, lower carb, but not super low carb, but also I will cheat sometimes and it's not a big deal, just living life more. So like if we go out to like the city and stuff and we get pizza, I just have pizza, it's not. But I don't do it that often, just like once in a while. It's tough for me to know if this is just a classic like getting older feelings or if it's, uh, or if it's different, if it truly is different this time. But I really am fearful of like, it's hard, to, it seems very hard to raise healthy, mentally healthy baby ch kids these days. Yeah, I don't think it's ever easy, but there's just way too many external sources like influencing kids now. The loss of innocence, really. Our last little baby. What are you gonna have? Blueberries. Some frozen blueberries. Okay, go ahead. Okay, bye. All right, I just got home from a little workout. It's 10.30. And we have these beautiful pink mushrooms. I don't know what they're called, but we went to the farmer's market and we got a bunch of mushrooms, some we cooked last night. And these ones, I was told they are like um, bacon. And so they're perfect for breakfast. So I'm gonna wash these off. I'm gonna cut off the bottom, the end. I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna cook them for Matt. 
for some breakfast and I will show you what his plate looks like when I'm done. So here's the mushrooms cooking down. I did three cloves, fresh garlic, some coconut aminos, sorry about the glass. Um, and then here's, we only had two eggs left. I'm going grocery shopping. So we got the eggs and then some sausage patties and the chorizo patty right there. And this is <clears throat> the sausage patties we use. Chicken and maple is the boy's favorite. So I get these like big bags at Sprouts. And there's breakfast. This chorizo, where'd you get that from? Sprouts. It's good. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Tastes good. Does it remind you of bacon like the guy said it would? Or like, does it give you like a bacony feel? I can see that. Yeah. I have been like busier these days because I've been feeling better and I've just been doing more things. Right now I'm about to actually go grocery shopping. We are fresh out of milk and eggs, which really doesn't happen. A lot of my meals have been like on the go. And so I just grabbed a handful of cashews that I ate on the way out the door. I had the eggs and my coffee earlier. So usually when I'm like doing things, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like this. You're just like busy and you don't really think about it. So you just eat little things here and there. And then when you're able to like sit down for dinner, you have a nice big hearty dinner. It's been kind of what I've been doing lately. And I really do like it. I'm not doing intermittent fasting by any means, but um, if I do find that I don't eat until like 9, 9 a.m., which isn't even that early, then that works for me. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I will show you guys what I get. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. Trader Joe's is just such good prices. Um, but they don't have everything that you'd want. I feel like it's like really just like a snacky grocery store. They have like a ton of snacks um, and like lots of cheeses. The cheeses are always really good. So we'll go there and their produce is really good. I'm just gonna continue to drink my water. I drink about 80 ounces a day and that's like a lot. But with my kidneys and my health, a minimum of 80 really just keeps my body functioning at its best. And I really want a new water cup. It's like a Stanley water cup. I feel like it's like all the rage right now, but it's also like expensive and it just feels very frivolous to like spend a lot of money on a water cup. And we're trying to like downsize and I don't know if Matt told you about the big plan, but he's gonna probably later on in the video and we're we're planning on moving and downsizing and like trying to just be more not minimalist but like minimalistic about things because we we have a ton of stuff i mean do you even really need two cars i used to say like yeah the more the better but now i'm like the less the better i will check in with you and show you what i get from my grocery trips and then i'll probably eat something before dinner we're doing cob salads i'm so excited i've been on a salad kick and so i'm trying to get matt back into it because he was like off veggies really hard for a while there's my big farmer man i looked up those mushrooms there now i can't remember what they are oyster pink oyster mushrooms and they're commonly used in like vegan bacon recipes. So that makes sense. And they were actually probably the best mushrooms I ever had, I would say. Really? Yeah. We have a sponsor for this video, guys. It is Element. It is our favorite electrolyte mix. We take it when we travel. We drink it regularly at home. Even the kids enjoy it. Our favorites are actually right here. So chocolate salt is my favorite. And then there's a raspberry salt, which is Matt's. Watermelon, kids love watermelon, and there's a ton of other flavors you could try out. They're all very citrusy and slightly salty, so they, they just give you a nice, um, you know, a refreshing drink throughout the day. So we like to fill up a big water bottle in the beginning of the day, and then we are ensured to get the electrolytes we need on our low carb or keto diet. So there's a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. They are low carb, sugar free, tasty as i mentioned drinkelement.com slash keto connect and you get a free sample pack with your first order so if you know you're gonna like chocolate or you're gonna like raspberry grab one of those puppies and then you can try all the rest in the sample pack and you'll know what you like for the future okay so five things you don't have to cook that are extremely healthy for you first one we're starting with the hardest and the most advanced oysters in olive oil. And if you want to get real extreme cod liver in its own oil, both of these are like about $3 a can. So if you look at it on a per calorie basis, really expensive. If you look at it on a per nutrient basis, very cheap. Yeah, this is the best. I get it on Amazon. I've tried a few different brands. 
it's hard to find it in stores, but you can find it in like Russian grocery stores or like, you know, weird places like that. You can't really find it at like Whole Foods. Maybe a good beginner, like these are probably the best tasting, the oysters. Maybe most of you are probably more familiar with like sardines, which are good, but they're not as good. So that's why these are more nutritious and they taste better. So these are probably your best bet. Cheese, varying qualities. So you have this, which I like, it's really tasty. The kids like it. Um, but this is like, you know, not very good quality string cheese. If you're going for the most nutritious, best quality, you're probably looking for raw milk cheeses from, you can get them from a lot of different places. All that it means is that it's not pasteurized milk, which for cheese, I don't think it matters too much, but it is also kind of just like an indicator of quality. Like people making raw milk cheeses, probably you're getting better quality milk than craft. Some veggie type things, kimchi. Fermented like stuff in jars like this. So like kimchi, um, sauerkraut, I guess like pickles kind of count. Those are really good. What about like kefir and stuff? Yeah, fermented dairy, kombucha, I guess. I wouldn't put kombucha in like the health food real category, especially the ones you get at the store. It's a lot of sugar. Cured meats. So you can get like not that good of stuff, which like this, like deli meats, which this expired like a long time ago. Okay. So. I get it for you because you'll eat a lot and then you don't eat all of a sudden, but it's in Yeah, there. I do like these for snacks. The best is going to be like uh, prosciutto or like... Um, There's smoked salmon. Imported cured meats, just like the highest quality things. Those are really expensive though. Probably not like a daily snacker. You can get like salami logs and stuff at the grocery store that are kind of good. I like these things, which are expensive, but I usually get them when they're on sale. It'll I, be like... Yeah, load it up because they're on sale. It'll be like two for four bucks or something sometimes. So like these, I couldn't think of anything else that I would put on like the ultimate health food list, which is kind of what I'm making here. Um, just like other dairy products, so like A glass milk, of milk, cream, butter. I mean, most people don't just eat butter, although our kids do that all the time. They like force me to give them butter, which I'm fine with. You can even do like hard boiled eggs, I guess, if you buy them like this, or you could just cook them at the beginning of the week. But that's cooking, which doesn't count. Oh, and then a few other options I wrote down that I wouldn't put in the same tier of like health foods as these, but um, nuts, like nut butters and stuff, pretty good. Chocolate, if you get like some good quality chocolate, not like Hershey's, but you know, something like, the ones I've been buying lately are a little bit higher sugar than I would get if I was doing like really strict keto, but this is like 48% chocolate. Yeah, usually if I'm doing keto and I want something that tastes pretty good still, I would do like 85% is, once you get above that, it's just tastes really bad. That's the list, comment down below with things that you would add to it. 25 cents a banana. How cheap is that? Cobb salad told you we're doing that, so I got some arugula to add. Arugula is so peppery, I love arugula. I got some hot dog buns, the boys, well, Theo in particular loves hot dogs born in their husk because Matt's very particular. He says it's only good if it's in their husk. So you can do this on the grill, but we even do it in the oven, 350 for like 30 minutes. And oh, you can just like slice it right off the cob. Um, I got some stuff for like a stir fry, sugar snap peas, scallions. Look at how cute these are. To you and to Matt. They're called sprinkles, they're little baby tomatoes. Eggs, bacon for the cob. The boys have been back on a frozen blueberry kick, so I've been getting blueberries. I got these chicken cheddar sausages. Did you like these last time? They were all gone before I even went back for more. Maybe I liked them though. Yeah, so I got some sausages. We got some milk, normal whole milk, lactose-free milk for Felix, canned coconut milk coconut aminos, and then a bunch of eggs. So a really small haul. That'll get us through the week because we have just so much frozen meat in our freezer that we're trying to work through. So this is what I got going on for a little lunch. It's um, a potato and chicken curry that I made on Friday evening that no one ate but me. So I've been enjoying a little bit every day. And then I'm gonna put some arugula, some faya yogurt on top, and some of these little baby cucumbers that I love, or no, it's zucchini that I love so much. So that's gonna be my lunch. This is some chicken I got at the grocery when I was at Trader Joe's. I was just going to pan sear it or like cook it in the oven really quick for the cob salads, but I thought I would braise it. Maybe it'll make it juicier and give it some depth of flavor. So there's some raw onion, celery. I did a bunch of 
fresh garlic using my garlic press salt pepper and some coconut aminos and i'm just gonna braise this in the oven for i guess I don't know, like an hour or maybe a little less and then we'll have some chicken for our salads for dinner later matt went to go pick up theo and me and felix are hanging out yeah what? meow is that what she said meow yeah good job what does the doggy say yeah. Oh, meow. Meow, yep, that's Miley. Felix woke up from a nap like 30 minutes ago, and this is some of his lunch. Um, there was a bunch of roasted potatoes, which is the only thing he's eaten so far from last night's dinner that he loved. Some pasta salad that, this is like, we never make pasta or pasta salad, but my brother had a barbecue this weekend, and he sent me home with some and then there's some chicken the chicken that i braised earlier so hopefully i'll have some of that soon mega's making sallies if you had to vote one vegetable off of the earth what would yours be mine is extremely easy instant lock-in you know i'm gonna say butternut squash we don't really need them spaghetti um, squash is worse sp okay fine i picked spaghetti Daddy, feed us that sauce. has to be celery for me very yeah. easily Actually, everything it's in is made worse. What are you eating? Bacon. Theo has a cheese quesadilla and some bacon there for his dinner. I have bacon. Eat it up. <laughs> There's bacon, uh, cherry tomatoes, heirloom. Quattro formaggio, like I think it's just like a four cheese blend that Matt really likes. There's broccoli sprouts. I made homemade bread last week, so I made some cr croutons out of that. The chicken that you saw earlier, and egg, and then salt, yeah. pepper, olive oil. What happened? And balsamic. We are watching Dumbo, which we recommend on Disney. You have to explain what's happening and build it up so the, so the kids like it. Dumbo's trying to get back to his mommy. So, the guy went in the fire, and I see smoke all over his face. <laughs> he went in the fire. Oh, you're right. Again. Oh, look, the mommy and Dumbo are together. Got some after dinner play doh. This has been a go to for the last few but weeks. Dad, I got, I got me. Gets you a solid hour of playtime usually. Parenting take. I'm hesitant to give these because everyone is very vicious with the parenting takes. This one I think most people can get behind it unless you do this, which is a lot of you. Really, I don't think there's an age limit on this. I would say obviously like under five for sure, but really any age, unless they're like 16 plus. If your child has an iPad with like one of those colorful protector things that are super padded and wears headphones, to use it. Like I've seen kids that are like two years old yeah. doing this. You're a really bad parent and I don't throw that term around easily. I didn't know they were padding. I didn't realize that till just you told me. That's a big signifier that like this is an everyday thing. Yeah. Like, oh, we got to get the padded iPad protector because our kid is being raised by this thing. What are you doing guys? Why did you have kids if that's what you're doing? Or just leave it at home and don't bring it when you go out to dinner. Or no, you can. just don't give it to the kids at all. <laughs> if I, you're on a plane or something, maybe. Hey, I would still say it's horrendous parenting, hey, but like maybe that's one situation. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Another variation on this is like, if you're, drive, if you're driving your 10 year old kid to soccer practice and they're just like have headphones in the car. Yeah, yeah, I would never, that's just like disrespect. a big you're teaching time disrespect. disrespect, yeah. I don't, I would not, I don't have patience for that at all. I barely have patience these days. You have to bring the boys to the and go up and we can shoot them. <laughs> We're big on doing tricks like boys against mom. Like when she walks anywhere, we like shoot her with a Nerf gun. Or one time we put Fifi's, Fifi's uh, roots pouch in place of her toothpaste. She, was, she knew obviously right away. But yeah. I used the roots pouch and I yeah. panicked. All right, guys, that is a wrap. That was our day of eating and just full day of fun. It's six thirty. Did he push? Did you push him? Bye bye, poo poo. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.